and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Today we will continue to focus on the History Challenge. The History Challenge is a legacy style challenge in The Sims that takes your Sims on a journey through history, starting with the Stone Age. There are a lot of rules to this challenge and I'll put links in the description box below. If this sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, welcome, and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any episodes of the History Challenge. The Symbilis tribe has settled in on the land that they claimed, and there is a chance that Isle may be pregnant, but we aren't sure. I'm hoping that we'll find out soon, so let's make some Sims history. Okay, here is Isle. She's going to attempt to identify these berries that she picked when they were in Granite Falls. Oh, she discovered what it was this time. So she knows that this is a noxious elderberry. So she has a recipe for a noxious elderberry, but I'm going to have her come over here and plant this because she could only get this when she was in Granite Falls so that she can grow some more. And then I'm going to have her test this. So she's doing pretty good on her herbalism. It's pretty much just eat berries that could kill you and try to figure out what they are. Okay, she's going to attempt to identify this berry. She, but she doesn't know what it is. So I'm going to have her water that. I think she can harvest any of this. Oh, she can water that. So we have to try to get Isle or Flint's handiness to level 3 and Isle or Flint's gardening to level 3 in order for them to be considered to go into era, the second half of the era. Reach level 5 in fishing, level 3 in gardening, and level 3 in handiness between your ancestors in order to progress into the second part of the era. And they can't build any huts or anything until they're in the second part of the era. And I had had a separate rule for myself that they either had to get to level 3 or level 5 to actually construct a hut. Because she doesn't need to water anything else. He's grilling. I don't believe they have any fish. Someone's going to have to go off and fish. I know that he's the best one for fishing. But why don't you gather some water and go fishing. Because you're going to need to have food soon. He's feeling silly. I don't know why he's feeling silly. Oh, probably because of his bipolar disorder. I'll have him clean that up. Then I'll have him come over here and... Oh, that's right. I stated that if they crafted garden pots, they could use the garden pots that were in their inventory. Okay, there's lots of fish over here for her to possibly attempt to catch. I mean, there's a ton of fish over here. Oh, look at that angelfish or something. There's a scurrying system that I haven't really even started to do. I can sit down and try to do that after and see how we're doing in that, but I'm really not concerned about the point system. I'm just concerned about trying to get them through the errors. Oh, the fish are a little bit too crafty for her. Let's see if she can fish with some bait. I'll have her fish with an apple. Okay, so how's he doing on his handiness? His handiness is level 2. He made knife blocks, so I'm going to sell those. And see if he can, he can breed a frog. He can breed a frog. And he's just having a grand old time here with the woodworking. Let's see if she's caught anything. She's pulling something in. Looks like she's got something, and she's got a pile of seaweed. Yeah, I really need to have her catch some sort of fish. How's he doing on his woodworking? Looks like he's finished that. We'll look in the household inventory for that. Now that he's made one of his own, uh, we can put one of the plants in it. Well, I'm going to have him harvest some of this food so he can work on his gardening. He can harvest these over here. I should probably send him off to do some fishing as well because he's never going to get his fishing up. I'm sure he's going to have to get his fishing up to the next level. So let's send Flint over here to do some fishing. She caught some more seaweed. She's not having a very good luck. She could probably cook this guppy. So I'm going to have her go back to the camp, grill that fish. Just working on his fishing skill. Let's see if he caught anything. He's catching... Oh, he caught a box. The aliens dropped it off of their spaceship. Oh, he found another fingers of Solani. Okay, how's she doing? Oh, she's grilled her fish. I'm going to have her make one of her potions. I think she's got to use Noxious Elderberry for that. When she becomes pregnant, 
I'm going to send her off to Granite Falls herself. We'll say that she's going to commune with the spirits there and ask for blessings for her unborn child, but I'm also actually going to try to get her to get some more of these, these achieves she needs for herself. She has successfully made insect repellent liniment. She's a level 2 herbalism. I'm going to have her practice juggling. What's he doing on his fishing? He's level 5 fishing. He's still catching boxes. Uh, this we can mount three of the five fish he needs to mount, which will be good when they finally have a hut. They can decorate the walls with his fishes. Should probably have her go off and forage. What's this over here? Oh, she can harvest the pineapples. Harvest all of the pineapples. Excellent. They can grow some pineapples on them, their land. She's got pineapples now. I don't know what this is, but she can clean that up. Oh, tomorrow is home. Home is a holiday that the Symbilises have decided to create because they found their home. So they've made an official holiday for their tribe. Okay, she's cleaned up whatever that was. Oh, and she found a scorpion fish. That's what those blue things are. I'm going to send her back to here. I'm going to have her craft the knife block. He's not having very much luck with his fishing. Send him to go swimming. See, his hygiene's getting down a little bit. I'm gonna have him swim around. We're gonna ignore that boat over there. She's working on her handiness skills. Her handiness right now is level one. We're still waiting to see if her woohoo was successful with Flint, but we're not, not able to test. There's no pregnancy tests, so she can't just go on the toilet. There is no toilet. There's only a rock that they that has a hole in it that they go on. And there's no option on the hole in the rock for taking a pregnancy test. Okay, he's leveled up in his fitness. Let's see how his hygiene's doing. His hygiene is not really budging. It's going down, actually. It's supposed to be going up since he's in the water. Maybe they can make a trip to that waterfall. If I can remember where the waterfall is. I think the waterfall's up this way. Ooh, what's that? Taro roots. I'm gonna have him harvest the taro roots, and then I'm gonna have him take a shower. I'm gonna have her try that to identify that fruit again. She still is not having any luck with that, but she's she's looking like she's sick. Yeah, she's thinking she's ill. Would you craft a horse sculpture? You're having a hard time with the knife block. So work on making a horse sculpture. Okay, he's showering. That looks like he's hungry again. I think it hungry really easy. She's getting hungry again. She's reached handiness level two, and he's going to be coming back. Oh, wait, 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 there's someone here. Why don't you talk to him? Hi, Durthal. How are you doing? How did you make your way out to my island? It's good to see you. How's your day? Discuss local fishing spots because you're a fisher person. I found the best spot. There are, like, tons of fish out in front of our beach. Yeah, I was practically swimming through them when I went out there to try to clean up. There were so many. Then we had a fire on the sand. I, I don't know how the sand caught on fire, but it was sort of like the time that we were traveling and the air caught on fire. Fire is just very powerful and everybody should be careful of fire. Talk about babies. Yeah, talk about them. Babies. I'm trying to have one with, with Isle. Do you know anything about them? How, how, do, how are babies made? It's trying to do this baby thing. It's like playing a game. I don't know what buttons to press. She is catching butterflies. That's fine, you can catch butterflies. She should probably go take a shower as well. So let's go over here. Yeah, shower in this waterfall. I'll just have him hug him, because he wants to hug somebody. Oh, he's complaining about selfish sins. Hey, bro. It's great to see you, but I really gotta go. No, no, uh, seriously, I have to go and eat. 
I have probably no fish to eat, but I have to go figure out how I'm going to eat. Hi, how are you? I'm going to make a flirtatious joke with you in a minute, and then I'm going to... Your loincloth thing is really quite appealing, but I really have to shower, so I'm going to go shower. Do you think I should get out of, out of the hut more? No, I don't actually. I think you should stay where it's safe. I don't know who she is. She's not someone I made. Oh, oh, she's eating for two. Hooray! That woohoo was successful. They're going to have their first tribe member soon. She's feeling terrible. She feels huge. I don't think she's huge, but she feels huge. What is happening to my figure? My, my body, it's terrible for being pregnant. Okay, he's cooking something. I don't know what he's cooking. Probably something he's not supposed to cook. Yeah, it looks like a veggie dog. So we'll just say he found a carrot and he's roasting a carrot. Let's see if there's any roots or anything that she can harvest on this side of the island. There's something she can dig over here. Yeah, she will have her go over here and dig. What's this? She can harvest all the taro roots. She's excited. It's thrilling to discover life growing inside of you. So she's happy she's pregnant. He's taking quite a long time to cook his carrot. I'm very, very happy that Isle is going to have a baby because that means we're one step closer to the next era. Granted, it's going to be quite a way because her child has to have a child. And right now, I don't think any of the other tribes that I've created have that the ladies in those tribes have become pregnant. At this rate, even if she has a child, sh there are no other sims that they could have children with unless they have children with one of the older sims, which is possible. But I know that that's getting way of ahead of ourselves because she hasn't even had her first child. And she's coming to get the tower root. He's furious and he's going to go sleep it off because he's so mad. He's just having inappropriate anger. Your sim knows it's not a very good reason, but they are very angry. She could probably plant the tower root. I'll plant the tower root over here. And I did say that once she was pr pregnant that she was going to go off into Granite Falls and talk to the spirits. I do that yet because tomorrow is home. And home is their festival for finding their homestead. So I don't really want her away from home when they're having a festival for home. Here she is. Let's see if she has any luck with this. She still doesn't know what it is. So she waters that. I'm gonna have her use the rock. Grill in the fruit. Look, it grilled a whole bunch. So she can grab some of that. Yeah, she's not doing too well with her morning sickness. Looks like it's an evening sickness. I think I'm gonna send her off to sleep. It just keeps catching these salami fingers. I guess there are f 10 fingers, so he'll just keep catching these fingers. I really need him to catch a fish. He caught a fish. Okay, so I need him to mount that. That will be number four. He needs one more to get past this level of his aspiration. Oh, he caught a parrot fish. He's completed a milestone. Excellent, Flint. So he's got to achieve a level six fishing skill, make six great catches, and catch five fish using bait. So that's his next goal. He needs to catch some fish for the family, so I'm going to have him fish with bait. How's she doing over here? I know at what, it's 6 in the morning for the holiday? Holiday starts at 6 a.m. Got a couple more hours for that. Just have her get up and do some basic things. Her second trimester is in 14 hours, so she'll be able to go to Granite Falls. Oh, you could beachcomb. I don't know what that is. Beachcomb for seashells. Oh, he caught a coconut. That means they can plant that. I'm going to have her tell him that she's pregnant. Share the big news. I have to tell you, I we have a new boo. We have a newborn coming. Let's see what he he's going to express how much he missed her. Oh, a new boo. I missed you so much with my stretchy arms. Hearing some cute words make Isle happiness because her mar partner is everything to her. Yay, she's happy that he missed her. Oh, he's flirty. I did miss, I do miss you. He's happy about his fish. Great catch. 
She's craving rich food. Isle is dreaming of greasy pizza, cheese, and loaded mashed potatoes. I don't know how she could even know about those things because I don't think they've even invented cheese. They don't have they don't have cows. So how could they have cheese unless they've traded with someone who has cows? She can boast about the family. We're gonna have a family. We're gonna have a very strong tribe. And those box heads won't be able to compete with our tribe. I tell you, our tribe is going to be the best. And I don't know who these box heads are, but they're not going to be as good as the Symbilis tribe. He wants to be funny with them, so let's have him do something. Oh, he can tell her a dirty joke. She's looking for shells, I think. No, you're not going back to play the ball. He's talking to you. Don't walk away. <laughs> oh, she had food in her pocket. That's so funny. No, 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 no. No, you don't do that. You clean that up. You throw that away. You're not, you're not going to kick the soccer ball. I'm going to get rid of this soccer ball. I'm tired of the soccer ball. So Flint is pretty happy that he was just told that he's going to be a father. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our crooked house. If you liked what you saw, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow the Symbilises on their journey through the Stone Age. It really helps us out. Have a great day. See you soon.